In the past days, looting has spread from stores to factories and warehouses, ransacking and rioting in South Africa's worst violence since apartheid. From the eastern provinces of KwaZulu-Natal to Johannesburg's economic hub. All of the doors are open. People are, are walking in. Highways on fire, skies full of smoke. The police hopelessly outnumbered. Protests started with the jailing of former South African president Jacob Zuma last Wednesday, accused of corruption. His supporters see his treatment as a symbol of the current government's repression. If they release Zuma, he says, we would be free. Until then, we keep protesting. But over the weekend, this spark ignited frustration with years of economic hardship, unemployment at 32 percent, and months of pandemic restrictions. And now the prospect of food shortages and hunger. This is very painful, and I don't know what can I say about that. This is not our fault. I don't know what happened to the government. We don't know, but this is not our fault. The government calls the riots nothing more than chaos caused by criminals. There is no grievance, no any political cause that can justify the violence and the destruction. But now it's under fire for not mobilizing nearly as many security forces to tackle this crisis as it did to enforce pandemic lockdowns just a few weeks ago. Sasha Petrosik, CBC News, Toronto.